that's, 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 what, that's what I rate it. So, yeah, pretty neat. So now, we continue onwards to the, the enhanced Game Boy Color version of Donkey Kong Land 3. Uh, which, am I even on the right thing for that? I'm pretty certain this is it right here. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's called something else. Hold on. Because I thought I put this on here. The good news is, if I didn't put it on here, I can easily put it on here. It's not hard. It doesn't take much time. But I was pretty confident I already put this on here. But it might not be... It might be in a different name. Or I have to go to a different system? Um... Let me, let me check here. Uh, no, it's, it's Game Boy and Color. They, they include them. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's figure this out. I don't think it's this one. I think it's, I think what it is, it's the Japanese title. So I think it's like, um... Here it is. Yeah, this is right here. It's right up here. So it's called, uh, Donkey Kong GB, Dinky Kong, and Dixie Kong. Because, um, uh, Kitty Kong was called Dinky Kong in Japanese. So that was kind of like the difference. So here we are. So this is modded for the record. This is not the pure version of the Japanese release. It has some color improvements and some minor changes. So this is kind of like a bit of a ROM hack. And again, it's translated. Quite quiet, actually. Uh, I think I'll... You want me to put the volume up a bit? This game's actually definitely, like, quieter. Let's just bump it up a bit. Let me know if that's fine. Oh, and also, before I forget, I gotta change titles here. Uh-huh. Do that. And then, this up here. This is a 96 game. There we are. Okay. Bit of a fart music going on here. Fart music. It's okay. The music's like okay ish. You can only expect so much. There's certainly a lot of color, yeah, it's a big difference compared to the past two games. Color does exist after all. So this is just a straight to the end, okay. I wonder if this has an excessive amount of collectibles too. It never bothered me in the Super Nintendo game, for the record. It's just common criticism. But this is absolutely, like, the, uh, not as good as 2. Like, the original Super Nintendo game, I mean. I can't speak for this one. This is probably, like, gonna be a very different game, because they're all different. Oh, also, I should point out something. The flicker sprite limitation stuff that you see sometimes... That is, um, a limitation. Oh, I'm, I missed something? Or was the coin elsewhere? What? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, there's gonna be, like, some, like, limitations and flickering that wasn't present in the original because of the ROM hack. Um, for the most part, it doesn't seem to affect the gameplay or visibility of anything. So I don't think it's anything to be too concerned about. Already an underwater level, second level, that's ambitious. Alright. But yeah, control is fine. Kind of similar so far to, um... Like, I haven't really gotten on ropes yet. But so far, it's pretty similar controls to the, uh, the game we just played. Minus the big, fat, heavy Kong here that's, you know, really dumb. Kitty, or Dinky, as some might call him, is, uh... A pretty heavily disliked character. It's not really his fault, but, you know. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Kitty either. 
I don't hate him. It's just kind of like, you know, it's just more so confused. It's just a big point of confusion for everybody that Rare thought this was a good idea. That, like, Kitty was a character literally anybody asked for or wanted to play as. They should have just used Donkey Kong if they wanted a heavy character again. It was really bizarre that they only ever used Donkey Kong for the first game. And they made him the worst character in his own game at that. It was just strange when you think about it. I still love the games, but they really... They really just weren't thinking when it came to certain things. It's always really funny that they were all called Donkey Kong Country. Or Super Donkey Kong. And like, you know, they... They like never really used Donkey Kong. He was always captured. Yeah, baby, this is a, the, the world of Game Boy Color. Another thing I didn't own, and I never... I never used one. Tons of people in elementary school had a Game Boy Color, though. Not me, but shitloads of people had it. And they also, that was the era of Pokemon trading cards. Their original debut. A very popular bunch. Those uh, Pokemon trading cards. Yeah, this is definitely a Vaporware core. You are right about that. Get yourself some synth wave in there too. Uh, this level's kind of harder. Pretty hard second level, honestly. Pretty, pretty hard. I am definitely going faster than I should. Am I going the right way? I might be going backwards. I don't know if I'm supposed to go left or right. Apparently I went backwards. Okay, here we go. I'm sure I'm skipping all si sorts of bonuses and secrets, but I'm not concerned. I just want to finish the games. We'll, we'll get into the deep dive bonuses and secrets in the GBA one, or GBA games. That's the only time I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it. And then maybe, like, I guess the Returns games and uh, Tropical Freeze I might want to dive into exploring more of the bonuses because that's probably, you know, I haven't played those games so I don't know what I'd be missing. So I guess I should probably, you know, put an emphasis on hunting for secrets when I get to those games. And this is a very different look for the underwater levels compared to the Super Nintendo ones. It's an interesting, it's an interesting approach to it. Fuck. I should not try to kill those. I should just avoid them. I don't even know if the game lets you kill them. It might not in this one. I have so far have tw almost uh, 12,000 drop frames. That's almost 3% of my stream. That's a hefty amount. Wrinkly's Refuge, that's what they're calling it. What you playing? What you playing, Wrinkly? So far, it seems fine. It's like more Donkey Kong, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hold on, this is a level where I can test this. Can you do the water skip? Probably not. It's probably too advanced. Doesn't seem like it. If, uh... This might be very mild. I don't know if this is in the manual or not. Might be very mild gameplay spoilers. It doesn't really matter, honestly, that much. But in the Super Nintendo game, you can do a water skip with only Kitty if you roll into the water and jump at the surface as soon as you hit contact with it. Doesn't seem like they let you do it in this one, though. Apparently there's like a bonus or something over here. Yeah, or on guard, okay. Weird how you can go through some of these and others you can't. Is 
very selective. It's like, this is a whole, like, section, you just skip the whole level. I mean, I'm fine with that, it's cool. I earned my secret. They don't seem to have a special attack with the select button on this. Oh, that's a big level. We did all of that, and we're only at the checkpoint. Wow. Life down there, and a bonus. Nice. Bash the baddies. I did a great job bashing the baddies. I did the... the Donkey Kong equivalent of hitting a Goomba. Just running right into a Goomba. That's what I just did just now. I'm playing excellent. My gameplay is at top form. Like I said, I want to just get a taste of the game, just to kind of see what I'm in for. Get some vague idea. I probably won't go for terribly longer, because I am starting to feel uh, a bit tired. Because again, I, I didn't sleep much, so that's how it be. Okay. When do we get our snow level? Apparently not yet. Yeah, the, the- the- the color is implemented pretty well. Pretty decent job here. I mean, obviously this is not the completely original palette, but that's fine. It seems like it looks pretty good to me. Like, this is pretty decent. It definitely has a lot more going for it. It's still pretty simple in a lot of ways, but it definitely does- it definitely does improve things where it can. The Game Boy Color, to my understanding, was still pretty limited. Again, I don't have a lot of personal experience with the Game Boy systems, except for the Game Boy Advance. That's the one I owned. The only Game Boy I owned was that. I have the original Game Boy Advance Indigo Color, and then I have the Game Boy Advance SP, the, like, Onyx Black or whatever it was called. And that one had, like, a built-in backlight. Which I'm still probably, like, gonna sell those, along with some other stuff still. I just haven't done it yet, because trying to sell things during this time of the year is very slow. As evidenced by my eBay orders taking an eon to come through. So, mail is super slow in Canada this time of year. So, whenever I get my... my Retro Tank stuff and my... my toolkit, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I ordered an iFixit Pro toolkit. It's, like, a really good investment, at least for me, because I tinker with a lot of stuff, and I need my own tools. So it comes with a ton of... It comes with a ton of, um... Bits for screwdriver stuff, and it comes with, like, a pry tools, and... A lot of stuff. And it's basically designed to kind of... Comprehensively cover... Most everything it possibly can, when it comes to repairing electronics. So this is just a built-in hint system. Okay. Kind of, I think the third game had that too. I just ignored it. A lot of the time, I ignored it. So the color here is pretty good. Seems like there's a little more effort put into this one. There's a lot more going on here. This looks pretty good. The music, though, is... In general, so far I'm finding that the music for this isn't very good. It's very farty. Like, it's not awful. Like, I've heard some really bad screechers in my time. Especially watching as many retro streamers as I do. Um, Alright, so we still have this wretched implementation. Why is Squitter here anyway? Oh yeah, it's mentioned there's like a secret here, right? Or if you go like to the left, you get something. I don't know, like from here? I don't know. I don't know if this is the right level, or whatever. Either way, we still have this wretched implementation, which just brings the whole game down. Because there's still that button limitation on the color. 
And in fact, I'm pretty sure that... Well, the Game Boy Advance did add in um, shoulder buttons, so it fixed that problem with the controls. So, so we don't have to worry about it for those. I also noticed that this level doesn't have a timer like it does in the original. And also, it's really early. So, like, one of the things I'm noticing about Donkey Kong Land games is they're, like, all kind of mostly lacking a theme. They're all kind of just, like, each world's just a mishmash of all the other worlds with not too much coherency. It's just kind of whatever. It's kind of like a, um... It's kind of like the Peter Pan... The Peter Pan setting, where you just had a bunch of random stuff everywhere and don't worry about it, don't think about it. Uh, Neverland, as they call it. Yes, Neverland. My brain's fried, excuse me. The, um... The PS2 stuff has been on hold for a while, but I mostly figured it out thanks to fellow streamer Duke Donuts. He helped, uh, answer some questions for me to make sure, uh... I was doing everything properly, and I was. And also, he helped clarify something for me so that I didn't have to test it myself and risk... risk causing problems. So he was able to kind of iron out some of the details for me. He's a super nice guy. I... I like Duke Donuts. He's good. The, um... Well, that was close. I almost got hit there. So yeah, it was nice to get that clarification, but basically, the problems I was having with numerous games, vast majority of them are solved by just running it directly off hard drive. So once I can get that mod installed properly with the proper tools that I'm ordered, um, and getting it done more easily, then, um, it should be a breeze and it'll work. It's just gonna take a lot of extra work to, um, put the games on there. Like, I have them all, and a lot of that work is done, but, like, the actual part of having to transfer, it's a bit annoying because you have to put the PS2 into the hard drive bay after you install the mod, and then you have to run, like, a special program that formats it, where, like, you, um, you, like, f you, like, format the drive to work only with the PS2, and then you have to use, like, new one of many of the options available, damn, dead, of, like, a special program. So you have to, like, run, like, a special program. I don't know which way is the right way. I don't think this is it. Also, man, I'm dropping a lot of frames again. I saw some of those where I was just straight up almost dead. Wait, where am I going? No, this must be the right way. I have to go to the right. The games are so bad about this. I might just- I don't know if this is right, but I- I have no idea. It's so hard to keep track of where you're going in this, but this seems of right to me? There's an arrow, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is it then, okay. But yeah, and then like after you do that, you have to take it out of the PS2, and then you have to run like- you have to put it in back into your computer through some means. Thankfully, I have an external hard drive reader that was gifted to me a long time ago, and it's been a very handy device in a pinch. So I can just use that, at least, so I don't have to put it back in my computer, which is a huge pain in the ass. Underwater. Oh, this, really? Um, how do I fight you? I just took damage and died. Do I just wait? Maybe I- yeah, I guess I wait. Okay. Okay, I guess that's what we do. It's super strange to be fighting this boss as the first boss. Ow. It's kinda hard. I think I damaged it? Okay, I see. I see the tricks. Kind of? Damn, that's hard. This is the first boss, really. Like, they're just front-loading the difficulty here. 
And they're making you wait a very long time to beat it. All right. Rare sure loves their long, drawn-out boss fights, man. The hitbox on this is so shit. I'm bleeding lives here. I might... Depending on it, I might not bother trying to beat this boss tonight. Let's see. We'll see. Ah! Oh. Problem is, if you have it too far away, I don't think you can hit the boss. So you gotta, like, line it up. Yeah, see, otherwise, no damage. At least they don't seem to throw in all of them back at you, so there is that. They only give you the... Jeez. There's a little bit of civilized gaming, but it's still pretty bad. Okay. That one's, that one's a dud. Maybe this section won't be easier. Yeah, maybe. Alright. Has a desperation attack at the end. That's mean, but I didn't get fooled by it. Primate Plains. Alright. Another underwater level. Sure, why not? So I think what I'll do, because I'm dropping an enormous amount of frames and I'm getting tired. And this is a decent length stream. Like, a lot of my streams tend to be around three hours. I do want to stream longer, like, and more this year, though. But it's been a hot minute since I streamed, and I'm already noticing my, th my throat starting to get a bit tired. And just in general, this is a super intense game to play. Or games, rather. So I'm feeling pretty worn out at the moment. Even after that break, I'm still pretty worn out. Plus, the lack of sleep is not helping. So, what we'll do is I'll get to whenever a save point is, and then I'll call it there. So that could be anywhere from the near future to 20 minutes from now. We don't know. But, as I would always say, if there's anybody worth raiding, I would like to do a raid. I generally consider myself to have pretty good taste in streamers, so whenever I do send someone your way, I'd like you to join me for that raid. That would be nice. You might meet someone new that you haven't seen before. It's vaguely possible. Although, I think most of the people who watch me tend to watch a lot of the same kinds of streamers that I do. I have almost at 30,000 dropped frames. That's quite impressive. I have never had this many dropped frames ever. Although, in a lot of cases, I've never tried streaming this far in. Usually, once this starts happening, I give up. But I've soldiered on because apparently, somehow, it's not unwatchable. I don't know. That confuses me because I'm, you know, I've dropped so many. Okay, so, Wrinkly's save point is really far away, I guess, so we're gonna be at it for a little bit, I guess. Because that's like, you can see it there, it's probably like two or three levels away. Alright, so we're in the forest one, which also looks pretty good. This is a nice little color palette. Pretty, pretty nice to look at, except the monkeys. The monkeys are like just one shade of like, kind of purple and whatever. The, the, some of them still look a little off, like the mice don't really have much color. There's definitely some enemies that are just like one solid color. The music for this... This, uh, area is a bit better. Still a bit scuffed, but this is better than some of the other ones that are just pure fart noises. Dang it, it's all toilet sounds. You don't normally go down in these levels, that's interesting. You tend to just go up more often than not. We also got squawks already, huh. Wow, I didn't get hit there? How? How did I not get hit there? I 
Um, hmm. Oh, there's like a gap way down here. Okay. My internet is just tanking hardcore right now. This is like probably the longest session I've had of drop frames. Pretty, pretty terrible. Good thing I'm making the decision to call it because this might not actually not be watchable right now. <laughs> It might actually be too low. Like, the bitrate was pretty low there. Okay, so where am I going? This is getting a bit mazy. Oh, up here, okay. I am really glad that I decided to not use the Super Nintendo controller for these, these games. Because I am really reaming the D-pad here. And the Super Nintendo D-pad is good but it's very stiff. So as a result, you don't get any, like, um, chance of any kind of, like, you know, wrong inputs. Where it goes, it will always go. So it's very good about that, but that's why it's so stiff, right? So it can be really, really hard on your thumbs. Or thumb, I should say. I have a lot of nostalgia for the Super Nintendo controller, but I tend to often prefer my 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro 2 Plus. Very long title for a controller. What the fuck? That's hard. The timing on that is insanity. Maybe jumping there would be better? Because uh, I think I was at the end and I died. It's a lot of level to do again. The check- this is one of these levels where it's super long and the checkpoint is like one-third into the level. It's one of these ones. Mostly not a hard level, just a little long and annoying to navigate. But now that I kind of know where to go, it's not that- it's not gonna be that bad. Yeah, my thumb probably would have been shredded to pieces if I had used my Super Nintendo controller. I got, like, the, um, like, a few months ago, or four months ago, I got the, um, the official Super Nintendo Online replica controller, and I've been using that with my mister. I haven't even used it on my Switch a single time. I've just used it cabled, wired. I don't like the fact that I lost my Kong again at this part, where I can easily get hit. Okay, managed to get through it. Anything up there? Apparently. Yes, there's a coin. Sure, why not? Oh, thank goodness. We're done that one. Decent level, just long. Okay, yeah, that's the wrong way. Um, yeah, a lot of level. Oh, God, so many. Maybe the next, maybe after we beat this, we can go to the cave, because I think the other one's a shop. So I don't think there's another level between. So we got ourselves a secret here. You probably need to somehow get up there, but we don't, we aren't able to throw Kong, so. At least not as far as I know. Oh, it's just here. Oh, that's easy. So, like, what, we just do this? How does this work exactly? Oh, that's it. I just fucked it up, that's all. I don't need to do this, but I'm gonna, because it's right here. Alright, nice. Take some- drink some water. I haven't drank enough water this stream. Definitely need to drink a little more. I'm usually very good about that kind of thing, but I think it's because I've been so friggin' focused on these games. And that's why I've not been really paying much attention to hydration as much as I should. Nothing up here, huh? you think there would be. Disappointed. Very disappointed.
Ow. And good thing there's another barrel. Yeah, this has been a pretty good sampling of this game. Overall, this is alright. So far. But the thing that I've even noticed about these games... The past two games, they I mostly thought, oh hey, this is cool. Like, this is nice. And then... They do evil shit. And it usually starts happening in the second world. Sometimes the third, and then just the difficulty just... The difficulty spikes massively, and it never goes back down, usually. So this is probably gonna happen with this game, too, and then I'm gonna be like, Oh yeah, no, never mind, this game's hard as fuck. And then I'll have to start cheating again. Alright, nice. Straight to the refuge. She's got tea for me. I could go for some tea, maybe. I haven't had tea in a while. Maybe that'll help my throat. We are 13% in. And in-game time, which I assume is only for levels, 25 minutes in. Cool. So, it looks like we have saved the game. Alright, let's get this going. Let's do the thing. So, we're gonna make a save state here, because I got a mini keyboard for this now. Perfection. It works. Very good. Alright, so we got ourselves an auto-scroller level. Auto-scrollers are... ...terrifying on a tiny Game Boy screen because you can barely see anything... ...in front of you. So you really gotta... ...really gotta be on the ball here. I miss that life. I might get this though, I might get this. Oh, no, never mind, I'm not getting it. It's fucking up already. Yeah, already fucking up. We can go to the, um, checkpoint barrel. Make another save state here. We're doing legal save states. I don't have much interest in completing these games completely legitimately. I want to do some save states at the, the correct, you know, basically just whenever it's comfortable, which is usually, uh, at the... Jesus, I hate that jump. Alright. It's not the most elegant way to do a save state load state, but it does work. It does work. I basically am using a tiny keyboard. It's a mini keyboard I bought a little while ago. And I bought it for a few reasons, and one of them was for the mister for when I need it. Ah, jeez. I got the life that time. Not that it matters, really, when I'm using save states, but yeah. Oh man, some of these jumps are jank, especially when you're trying to warm up and play video games. The timing on them is a bit funky. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm just looking at the aspect ratio. It looks good, actually. So I guess the SNES crop is pretty accurate. Alright. Oh jeez, I'm not paying attention. I'm still, like, partially waking up is the thing. I've been awake for maybe, like, an hour or so. So that's also a thing that's been going on here. Uh, I oh I made that jump. How how did I make these jumps? What's happening? That is a uh, hmm. Not not sure how that happened. I keep getting hit by that dude though. I'm way too not aware of what's going on in front of me. Okay, well we did the thing. Thank fuck. I hate those levels so much. They are not fit for for Game Boy. It's sinful that they even in include these awful, awful levels. Okay. So we got ourselves a little, little secret back here. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's a little bit of a secret. We get ourselves our coin. Some good old coinage. So hopefully it won't take me... 500 years to beat this game, because I would like to play something else tonight. What that is, I'm not really sure, but it's gotta be something. I mean, I might I might be interested in trying out the, the next game in the roster here, which would be Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color. Ah, Jesus. That does interest me. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm getting to... Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen this game as the first thing that I play. This is not going well so far. My, I'm still, like, kind of waking up and distracted by other things. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I really do need to make a safe state, actually. Let's make one. Oh, fuck. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Now I have to do this again. Oh, God damn it. I fucking hate my life. Ah, Jesus. I fucking hate when save states backfire on you like that. I really gotta not make that mistake ever again. Now I'm trapped in hell. Hell of my own making. Not that I had any chance of beating this, uh, this game legitimately because of the way that it works with everything. These types of games are, are pretty ridiculous in terms of requirements. I, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna not hit that stupid pink-ass gremlin. Alright, managed it again, okay. So I'm gonna, like, make a save state after I beat this. Like, where can I get to the next level? Because holy fuck, do I not want to do that again? Okay. I'm gonna make a save state. It's gonna be right here. Alt F1. There we go. I really feel like, I don't know. They maybe could have made that system a bit easier. I don't know. F1 to load a save state can be a little bit haphazard. I don't know. They should have just made them both just function keys or something. I think I can configure that myself, to be fair, but also effort. It's, it's effort. It's work. Do I really want to do that? Nobody knows. Oh, shit. I didn't change my info. Fuck, I knew I forgot something. Um, yeah. Whoops. My bad. Been streaming for 10 minutes and forgot to change my info. This is what happens when you get completely thrown off. Well, I changed it now. At least I, at least I got it right for Twitter. It is, a uh, very unfortunate. <sighs> Alright. Well, better late than never. Man, how embarrassing. I don't know, I don't know how I forgot about that. But, well, I changed everything except that. It's like always something that I forget. Seems to be a pretty consistent thing for a lot of times I stream. I always end up forgetting something. It's not always the most important thing, but that one was pretty important to forget. This is, this is what happens when you have dealt with insomnia and then you sleep like 13 hours and then you get up in the middle. Basically, I got up when the sun set and I feel like a vampire. Everything's just, everything's just out of whack at the moment. Okay, so let's make another save state. There we go. Everything, everything's out of whack at the moment. My brain's, brain's a bit scrambled. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what's going on. That's a very small platform. I thought that might have been a sprite glitch, but no, that's actually the size of the platform. Why'd they make it so tiny? It's not like that in the SNES version. The SNES version really... This, this, this one is not as faithful in that regard. Alright, we got like a stupid coin we can get back there, but I don't, I don't give a shit. Let's just keep going. I don't want 100% this game. I have zero desire to 100% the Donkey Kong Land games. It sounds like hell. The kind of hell that I do not want to be trapped in. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been, it's, it's been interesting, because, like, though not only did I just get up recently, and really, really late at that, I also ended up having to, to, uh, encounter and deal with beetles in the middle of winter, like, there's a shitload of snow outside and stuff. Why do we have another one of these, huh? It's weird. Are there two? 
So I had, I had to deal with like two, there were like two beetles that showed up. They're like assassin beetles and they're pretty large. Like they're, they're pretty big beetles and they're ugly and they're, they're just awful, awful little creatures and they will infest your house. And apparently we somehow, I don't know how the fuck, but like somehow they still are in our house. Even though it's been, they haven't been active for like three or four months. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit wild. Like, I think maybe their last sighting was, like, November, maybe. October w would be, like, what I would think, but maybe November they were still around. Shit. Got hit there. And I can't believe what I saw when I saw that they were still there. There's, like, two of them. And is this a maze? Like, is this, like, a maze level? Because I'm just, like, flying through it and it feels like it's looping. What's going on here? Is this just the level? Because I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Like, how big is this fucking place? Oh, there we go. How bizarre. Okay, so now we just have a bonus. It's not- that's not where I want to go. Okay, so we steer these. Alright. That's a very easy bonus. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I- I- I guess it's not down there. Okay. The banana trails were fucking liars. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for that. Alright, we're gonna do a save state here. Alt F1. Oh. But, uh, yeah, so how to deal with those beetles. And they're the kind of things that are so large. And they also smell bad if you kill them. That... You know, you, you, you don't want to kill them through conventional means, and the whole catch or release thing doesn't work with these guys. So, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere with that tactic. These, these things are, are the things you gotta purge because they're, they're gonna infest shit, and evidently we're still technically infested with them, I guess. I just don't know how the fuck we wouldn't see them for months. They must have, like, been hiding somewhere really well and hibernating, because that's, like, the annoying thing about these stupid beetles, is they'll hibernate. And they'll also just hide really, really well. Despite their size, they're surprisingly good at hiding, and it's incredibly fucking anxiety-inducing. Because now I'm wondering if I have them in my room again. I don't want to go this way. Okay, there we go. Let's go this way. Because now I wonder, are they in my room now too, or have they continued to be in my room without my realizing? Like that's, that's, you know, the anxiety that I'm experiencing at the moment. And I hope that's not the case, because it's just awful to deal with these things. I did look around though, not like super thoroughly, but I did look around. And I didn't see anything, so I'm hoping that there's not any more. Plus, I think that if there were some, they would have shown up by now because I... Especially when I'm doing something like streaming like I am now, I have like a key light on and it's pretty bright. And they, they're usually attracted to light. So I think if they were around, they probably would have shown up by now. Oh god. Got a fucking boss. Bleak, but like a weird version of Bleak that stands up. What the fuck is this? So it's like the same thing. So it's the same thing. Okay. But it's, it's like a different perspective. It's the side-scroll perspective instead. What the fuck? Um, alright. I, I, can we just stay here? I assume not because of that, yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering how much you can get away with it. Okay, maybe you can. You can just like stick around here if you just jump at the right points. Uh, get get it. it. They do give you some time. This seems like, um, for the most part, it feels like this boss didn't really, they didn't really think the whole thing through. I mean, I'm, I know they can get you sometimes with the, like, some of these shots he can get you. But if you just jump at the right points like here, yeah, like that, then you're not going to get hit. At least so far. Yeah, like, he's still a tricky bastard, but it's... Grab the barrel. Grab the barrel! You don't have... Oh, now it doesn't count. 
So he's invincible during this. They don't give you enough time to grab the barrel. I hate that shit. Ugh. Okay. There. Ridiculous. That's a silly boss. It's not nearly as bad as the original boss in the Super Nintendo one, but that's a very weird, very weird way to do your boss. Well, we're done that world, I guess. That was pretty short. Gotten through it in like 10 minutes-ish. Around, around there. So I guess we're, we're making some kind of progress. Okay, so Alt F1, there we go. We got some cells, some new music finally. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have sometimes I'm gonna have those awful, awful beetles on my mind. Because they're just wretched creatures. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. I can never honestly, I can never be completely sure because of how incredibly good they are at just not revealing themselves at times, but usually if you have a bunch of lights on and stuff, you're, you're, they're gonna come out, so... I think that if they were around, they would have been shown by now. So... I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with that. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. But for now, we got ourselves this... okay game. Mediocre game. That I am playing. Mainly because, you know, we're playing all the Donkey Kong Country games, and this is a Donkey Kong Country game, basically. Technically speaking, it's not part of the series, but it, it may as well be. I think I'm skipping for some of these levels. I'm, yeah, like, that's a super simple level. I think what makes the level more complicated is if you're trying to percent it, if you're trying to go for the bonuses and stuff. Because that was, like, super straightforward. Alright. Hey, that one, I didn't even die a single time. Alright, so now we got ourselves another new music track. The game's being generous. Ow. So we got ourselves... Rain, for some reason. Not sure why it's raining. And why they're just tiny little drops like this. But, you know what? We'll, we'll go with it. So this thing doesn't follow you. Didn't I didn't think the programming would allow for that. Yeah. If the game's not as sophisticated because it's on the Game Boy, they probably can't script that kind of thing without the Game Boy breaking. That would be my guess. It's an interesting 8-bit version of this song. Very interesting. I haven't found a barrel in a bit. Am I going down or up? I think I'm going down. Fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. Fucking knew it. Alright. Um, load state. There we go. No, no, no. We're going back. Fuck that. I ain't gonna get hit that early. All right. Yeah, I do. I do like how they try to make things a little different with this. It doesn't always work out, but you know, it a for effort, a for effort. If anything, I like the. I like the this this 8-bit version of the music. It's a good one. Now, do I prefer the 16-bit original? Yeah. I think that's better, but this is still neat. It's kind of like a cool little novelty, you know? I don't know why those guys are blue, but... Like that light shade of blue, but we'll go with it. Hmm, checkpoint barrel. You know what that means? It's time to do a save state again. There we go. Because the life system in this particular, in these like these land games, are atrocious. Because they do that thing where it does it with the Super Nintendo for game as games as well, where it resets. How did I get a coin? What? What did I even do to get that? 
I just tossed a barrel randomly, and, and I got a hero coin. That's interesting. Okay, so we got these dudes. But, yeah, it's kind of... Man, my brain is just scrambled. I'm sorry. It's just it's the whole thing of still waking up and... Also, the, the beetles keep distracting me in terms of thinking about them and the possibility of them being in my vicinity, even though they very likely are not. Okay, that level's pretty easy, all things considered. Some of these levels have actually been surprisingly easy, which is a thing about, I find consistent about these land entries, is they seem to be a mix of... They seem to be a mix of really ridiculously hard ROM hack levels. Some of which that barely function, and then ones that are just stupid easy that you can just kind of just get through without much effort at all. I'd say that more, more of the levels in the land games tend to be the really easy brain dead ones, and then they'll just randomly insert like a ROM hack level every now and then. And then those are the ones that are the real lives ki life killers. Stuff like that. I'm still not a fan of how they're doing these winter levels, because the way that the camera works for these, the way that the camera works for these, is less than ideal, I will say. Less than ideal. Gosh, has it really been like three days or more since I've streamed? Fuck me, dude. That's too long. I really am trying to stream more, but goddamn, the insomnia was just wrecking me. Fuck. Alright, here we go. I really should just probably be streaming anyway, even if I am tired. Yep. I mean, at most, that's what most people do anyway, and I should probably do the same. Alright, so we got that. Alright, that was, see, that was another pretty easy level. There's, like, a couple of parts where they try to kill you, but for the most part, that's that was quite breezy. Surface tension. I know that. I know that Half-Life chapter. All right, let's have one. Got another barrel here. Ignore that. So far, this has been pretty breezy. I'm sure. Oh God damn it! I'm sure that I'm gonna come across. Yeah. See, it's already starting. Yeah. There's already some bullshit starting. So maybe. I was speaking too soon. Because I was just saying, I'm sure we'll come across like some level that's got some stupid shit in it. And this one does have a few stupid things in it. I mean, I don't think it doesn't look too bad so far, but it wouldn't surprise me. I guess also if you have Dixie, you can skip some of the some of the other stupid segments like I just did. Which does make it easier. The key is to keep Dixie in your team. And then you can do stuff like this to skip a bunch of dumb stuff. All right. So far, this is working out quite nicely. Quite nicely, indeed. I am pleased by this outcome. Looks like we're done the level. You can pretty much just skip most of this level, kind of Super Mario World style with, uh, with Dixie. Yeah. Seems like it's a lot harder if you don't have her. Alright, so we can do a manual save here. I mean, doesn't hurt. Alright, another one of these. So far, so good, so far. I've got another life, very good. Those lives that we- shit. That we will not be using. Ugh. Itchy nose, I hate that. There's definitely a few bits of this where they're really trying to troll you. But I'm on- I'm on to their- I'm on to their- their game here. Yeah, see, that was another one. That was another good one that they were trying to pull on me. Outside of, like, 
a couple of these levels, though. I haven't really had any real threat of a game over. A bunch of these levels have been surprisingly easy. That stupid auto scroll one was the really bad one. Oh, we got our, all our letters. Very nice. Yeah, this was pretty breezy. I'm a bit surprised, but I, I am accepting it. Is this another boss now already? Or is this just a uh, forest level? I guess it's just a forest level, okay. Maybe the next level will be a boss, because that'd be about the, the general pacing of these worlds. I think that put us at world three. It's like world three. Uh, the land games tend to be... They tend to be around six, five worlds. That's where it's about where we'd be. So we're like probably at around the halfway point or so. Maybe a little more, depending. Hard to say how much content they would pack into a Game Boy game. Some, some of these later Game Boy games, you know, because they know how to use the hardware better. That was a bullshit hit. You know to use the hardware better, sometimes you get more levels. More content than you would in the early Game Boy games. Are we, are we going backwards? What is this? Um, why are we here? Just to get the DK coin that I don't care about? That's what we're here for? Okay. Can I please get out of this? Holy hell. Thank you. Yeah, that, that was a complete detour. We don't need to go that way. Alright, got our checkpoint barrel. The, uh, this mini keyboard's working out really nicely for the mister. It's like an easier, faster way to, to do safe, safe states if I need to. Which with, like I said, with these games, it's pretty much required unless you do it all in one sitting. Because they reset your lives and your coins every fucking time. Like that you resume, I mean. I think this is the wrong way. Fuck. It's even back here. I think this is like backwards or something. I'm not sure. I'm getting confused. I think this just wraps around or some bullshit. I'm not sure what this is. It's all empty now, so I think it is. Yeah, like we're just... I have no idea what's happening. Didn't we already get the G? Yeah, so this is like literally going backwards. I hate this level. This is some stupid design. I don't know how they let you do that so easily. It's very rare that you play a Donkey Kong, a Donkey Kong Country game, and you can actually just easily go backwards because everything looks the same. Here we are. This is the end. My levels are very short, you know? That's nice. I was like, I think that the land games are fine. Yeah, here's the boss. Man, that is a very small version of the same boss. I wonder if the same trick still works. Nope, it doesn't. At least not through the whole phase. So for this, you just jump on him. Yeah, he's different. Okay. They changed him. They, they can... Fuck off. Oh, this boss can go to hell. Yeah, they, they changed this dude. Um, how did I get hit there? I'll, I'll say this, his hitbox sucks. I think he moves the same pattern, actually. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's not, it's fixed, at least somewhat. You can still get, okay, so I just wanted to test to see if you could hit him while he's doing his berserk mode. And, as I expected, no, you cannot. You cannot hit him. So once he goes into rage mode here, you gotta wait it out. Um, nice hitbox. Yeah, this boss sucks. 
Mainly, Jesus. Mainly because you have no idea what he's going to do. Like, you do, but you have to mem- it's like a memorized boss. It's like one of those annoying ones, so you bleed a bunch of lives trying to beat him. Plus the hitboxes are bullshit on these stupid little pellet things. See, and they can still hit you while you're trying to hit him. Like, the hitboxes are terrible for this boss where it's just super easy to get hit by him and his stuff. Yeah. See, there's no way for me knowing what he's gonna do. So I just have to memorize it. It's stupid as hell. This is why save states are being used. Because this these games just do random awful shit like this. When they feel like it. Okay. Watch out here. I think he'll go to the right again. I think that's what he does. Yeah. No rule of threes on this boss. Another one that breaks that rule. So now I just... He might get the center this time. Nope. He almost hit me, though. Oh. So this boss has, like, quadrillions amount of health. Alright. Alright. So this is a boss that takes 500 years to kill. I'm probably gonna save state now to, like, get through the boss even faster. Because I'm starting to lose my patience with this motherfucker. And we'll see. Oh, f fuck off. Okay, come on. Yeah. This, they made this boss way harder. Oh, Jesus! They made this boss way harder. He's kind of stupid difficult now. But the wrong kind of difficult. How do I keep doing that? What, what is... Is it like when I'm hitting him? I, I need to like, I don't know, like, think about this more. Dude. I fucking loathe this. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, like I'm not. I don't have patience to do this full fight. This game isn't that good anyway. It's... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's very... It's very mediocre. This is kind of like... Like all these land games. I just want to experience them once and move on. Oh my god, dude. Like I just... I legit just have no patience. How did I get hit there? Dude, the hitboxes on this boss are fucking terrible. They're giant. Oh, well, I mean, that one was kind of my fault, but I still hate the way this boss is designed. And you just don't have anywhere to move. It's so tiny, this arena. Again, a constant problem with the Game Boy where everything has to be tiny. Fucking hell. Like, he does seem to track you is the thing, which is annoying. I don't know what he's... Like, I don't know if that's the case or not, but it seems like it. He keeps going where I'm going. No, it's just bad luck. Okay. No, he doesn't track you, but it's just bad luck. Alright, so let's just do this again. I would have been stuck in the spots for like 20 minutes if I didn't do this, and I don't want to waste- This game's not worth that kind of time. As is, some of these phases take long enough. Alright. 
That's right, we're cheating. We're, we're cheating. We're cheating away. I love cheating. Okay. Alright, he just dies on his own after the rage mode. Okay. Fuck that boss, that was terrible. So yeah, that was like one of the parts of... ...that the Donkey Kong Land games are... ...seem to be infamous for, is just easy as shit... ...until very suddenly they hit you with a giant difficulty spike. And that's what that was. Very obnoxious, but I'm glad that I got through with the power of save states. I would have no patience to play this game, play any of these Donkey Kong Land games without them. Uh oh, you can grab up there and even notice. Okay. But yeah, we got ourselves a new little level type. This is uh, pretty much the same thing. It's the same mechanics as the jungle one in the original game. Yeah, we're getting through it. Like, I can completely understand if people don't want to watch me play this one. Because it's not the most exciting video game in existence. I'm mainly just playing it as part of Completionist. Because I said I would play all the games, and that's what I'm doing. This is definitely... The land games are not exactly the most exciting of the bunch. They're really bog-standard platformers. So the faster I get through this, the better, in my opinion. That's why I want to get out of the way early into the stream as well, because I can probably, especially with the save state abuse, I can probably get through this. I can probably get through this in, you know, pretty good time here. We're like 40 minutes into the stream itself and about, yeah, like 36 minutes into the game for this uh, session. We've already gotten through two worlds. And we cleared the first world the last time I played this, like a month ago. Definitely been a while. Felt overdue to shit. Really? They, nah, I guess that was dumb. Okay, that was not fair. Did I get- I didn't get any kind of checkpoint, did I? No. Okay. kind of odd that you have Ellie here because can she even take the water? Is that a thing that she can do? Maybe if I know the control scheme she can, but like the whole mechanic behind... Okay, there she goes. Now she's doing it. Okay. Uh, she wasn't doing that before. Um, weird. But okay. I never even noticed that. Maybe it's just me. I think she might just have infinite water. It may not be that she sucks anything up because there's no animation for it. So, I think she just infinitely shoots this, actually. Yeah, it seems that way. So, that makes it easier. You don't have to, like, go around them. Yeah, so she's pretty OP then. In this version. Very nice. God, now we have this. Destructible platforms. What the fuck? That was a troll. It backfired, but nice attempt. Okay. Shit, dude. Come down. Oh, God. I need to switch Kongs. Go to easy mode, Kong. There, that's better. Jesus, how big is this level? It's unusually large. That's what I mean, right? That's how this- that's how the land games are. 
just very wild and inconsistent with level lengths, difficulties of said levels. It's it's a crazed experience. And we just randomly have the helicopter, dude. What the fuck? Did you just, like, die? Apparently, yes. Okay, that's new. I guess that's one way to make sure that you don't have too many sprites on screen to s slow performance. What a... What a strange entry. I'm very confused by some of the decisions made. That's what I mean by the land games being at least somewhat interesting, at least from a fan perspective. Is that gonna come back? We have to get it off screen first. What the fuck? Um, okay, well, let's get rid of this guy then. He's in the way. Oh, yeah, you have to respawn them. Okay. There's, like, a lot of oddities with this version. Like, all these land versions. They're weird, like, alternate universe equivalents of the Super Nintendo games. And I do think they're interesting just on that basis, if you're a fan of the Donkey Kong Country stuff. Because it's, it's an interesting experience. It's unique. There we go. I don't... I just don't think that they're very good games at the end of the day. Deep Reef Grief. Well, that's an ominous title. Very ominous title indeed. But yeah, this is a... Uh... Ideally, we'll, we'll power through this one pretty quick, and then I can move on to more exciting games. Like, even the Game Boy Color version of... Shit. Even the Game Boy Color version of the DKC would be a far more interesting to me than this. Yeah, this level's fucked up already, I can tell. Yeah, the, the title was definitely accurate. They knew what they made. They knew what abominable sins they had created. One thing, though, that I'm a little wondering about here is if my thumb will hold up for this. I'm using, like, my most comfortable D-pad available. At least I think. So I'm, I'm using the most comfortable controller I have for D-pad wise to lessen any potential abrasion issues, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Cause I don't know, my thumb might not be up for the task cause it's just, you know, an endless problem through winter. I can never seem to fix this. Um. Yeah, so far it's okay-ish, but it might start to feel maybe a bit tender, so I'd have to be careful. I might not be able to finish this particular game tonight. I might have to switch to something that's safer. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Don't care about the bonuses, because we're just trying to beat the game. So, is this like one giant dead end? I gotta go up here, I guess? Or am I getting lost and going backwards in the level? What the fuck? Where am I going? Give me direction! There's like... There we go. Okay, so it's this way, I think? Okay. Better be. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hey, Anime Cow. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your lurk and your shower. Very important stuff. Alright. So... Down here... Oh man, yeah. Some of those, some of those barracuda dudes. They're, they're called something like that. I don't remember their exact title. Some of those dudes are pretty rough. Even in the Super Nintendo version, they can be pretty trolly. So you really, with these water levels, you really got to take it slow if you can, or at least have really good reaction times to anything that pops up on the screen. Did I even get a checkpoint? I mean, I have lives to spare if I do end up dying. Because, you know, I've been abusing save states just to get through the game. Wouldn't surprise me if On Guard was a fish you could get here. They often have animal buddies hidden around. Oh, there's On Guard. Not really hidden, though, just in plain sight. Sometimes they have them earlier in the levels, though, so that also could be the case. I don't know if On Guard can destroy these dudes, though, like he can in the original. 
Um, apparently I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, he can. Yeah. I was pressing the wrong button. The, the, the other buttons for attack. Shit, that was close. He's pretty fast on guard. He's faster than he is in the Super Nintendo version. This is a very fucking intense section. Oh, good. Got a Kong back. Take one more hit. Jesus. Fuck off. Oh. That was mean as fuck. Okay. Okay, this level's fucking long as hell. We need to make a safe state here. This level's fucking long. I guess if you're... If you're speedrunning the game and you have things memorized, you'd probably get through this one pretty quick just because if you know exactly where to go and the placements of the enemies, you can just power through it. Otherwise, it feels a bit slow. But even for myself, I'm catching up pretty quick. Yeah, there's your little fucker who got me last time. Got a Kong barrel over there if we need it. But we're probably too f shit. I should have just kept going down. Um, will this level ever end? Let's find out. This is probably the longest level in the game so far. This is like absurd how long this fucking level is. Finally! Jeez. Okay. Guess we'll do another manual save, why not? Alright. So, is this a boss? I don't know. Carbine cows? Sounds like a boss. No, it's not? Okay. It's just an industrial level. That reminds me, better save. We got ourselves a Scooter. Squitter. Squitter, who is actually, in a lot of levels, pretty awful to use because in Donkey Kong Land, the control scheme for it is atrocious, where you have to use select to make, like, a web thing. Although, I don't know if this version has that anymore, do they? I mean, I'm trying it, it's not doing anything. Or maybe it was, like, dumber than that. I might be misremembering the control scheme, actually. Either way, I, I'm not required to make the web. Oh, no, I remember what it was. You had to bring it out first, right? Well, that was fucking mean. Alright. Uh, thanks for that. This level's definitely on the harder side. Holy shit, they give you, like, almost no time to react with some of these things. This is just a dead end. With a stupid coin. Can I kill this dude? No. That's annoying. Alright. Kind of a hard level, but I managed to improvise. First try. Simeon Shimmy. Another forest level. Pretty long world. Definitely, I wouldn't say pretty long, it's definitely long. This, this world is like... 
one of the longest ones because the levels have also been a lot longer. Most of them. At least I'm starting to get into the groove now. I still feel, like, groggy and tired, but that's just gonna be probably my reality for the next three or four days. Assuming I continue to sleep, which is a big assumption on my part. But hopefully I will continue to do those things. Even if they are at terrible times and scheduling. Okay. Oh fuck, they got these stupid guys back. Fuck these monkeys. They're the kind of monkeys that I won't want anything to do with. Okay, can we just... Yeah, we can get a checkpoint. Yeah, this is pretty intuitive. I think the keyboard is was a good purchase. It's working out well for the mister, at least. I can use it with other things, too. Which I definitely will at some points, but... Definitely just for basic functions of the mister, it's doing a great job. The safe state's pretty easy to do. See, I ordered a, uh, a while back. I think I mentioned this. I may not have on stream. A while back, I ordered... I ordered a new GameCube controller. It's third party. Just literally just came out called, uh... Called Retro Fighters Battler GC. Mostly getting favorable reviews. There's some complaints that I've been hearing, but they seem to be maybe some QC issues, which unfortunately is a problem with a lot of third party stuff you buy. That hit me? Really? Okay. Um, so there might be... There might be... Uh, hopefully I won't run into any issues like that. At least not ones that are noticeable to me. That would be unfortunate. But I'll get her done. That level. Good, good. But it took like two weeks for it to even ship. They printed the shipping label really quickly, but then they didn't move the damn thing it looked like for two weeks, which is kind of annoying. But I guess they had a massive back order because they're a smaller company and they had too many orders to fulfill, and I guess that must have been why. So that was a that was a bit annoying, but it's it's on the way now at least. I, it was funny too because I it looked like I had to complain or something. I don't know. Like I sent in um, a ticket because I was like, well, it's been a really long time. The tracking isn't updated a single time, and you now I was concerned. So I, I did send in a ticket, and pretty much as soon as I sent in the ticket, then the tracking information updated, so... I'm not sure if that was just a coincidence, or if it was, like, just because of that. Oh, well, that was bullshit. I still like this 8-bit version of the song. It's good. I mean, I always, I always have really liked this track in general, but it's... It's definitely... Shit, I was close. It's definitely nice and 8-bit as well. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, man. I came at the most random of times. I had almost no warning. Alright. Ah. Okay, that, oh, that almost hit me, that was close. Yeah, the, so that's supposedly on its way, but since it's coming, like, you know, across the border, because I'm in Canada, US to Canada, it might still be a while. It's probably going to take in total a month for it to get here, if I were to guess. Because it's not like I use fast shipping or anything. That was bullshit. So, it wouldn't surprise me if I end up waiting an extra two weeks to get the controller. But hopefully it comes a little sooner. That'd be nice, but I'm not holding my breath on that based off of experience. So, I might be might be waiting a while on that one. Oh good, that was done. But I'm, I'm looking forward to getting the controller because it's... Ergonomically, it's way better than the OEM GameCube controller. Looks like we're on the boss. Wonder what 
awfulness this boss will provide. Yeah, I, can't, I probably can't just hit it, can I? Maybe I do. Oh, I see. Hmm, do I see? Hmm... I don't think I can hit its top. Maybe I don't hit it at all. Maybe I just wait it out. Because it seems to be doing different things each time. I can't seem to get on its blades either. That's confusing. I don't think as boss is I'm doing this right. I might have to... Yeah, I don't... It just seems to be going in phases. Yeah, but then I hit it and it kills me, so... I don't really get it, personally. Oh, there we go. So it is like the original, it's just way more jank and confusing. Got it. Um, okay, the guy hit me that time. It, he didn't hit me all the other times, but okay. I mean, I guess we'll save state. Because I don't think I... I don't know if I did that, but... Know. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Maybe I just wasn't on the right pixel. I'm just gonna, just for expediency, I'm just gonna do this safe state abuse. Okay, so he can hit me there. Got it. Can he... Okay, he can go to that side, I see. Wait, what? How am I supposed to avoid that? Do I jump over him? I guess I jump over him. Okay. And I guess I can't hit him in this phase. Alright. Um, what? What happened there? Yeah, see, this is why I'm not humoring this, like, most of these bosses, because they're poorly designed. Um, the bosses in these can be just fucking atrocious. I don't, I don't much care for trying to learn them. Because there's not- actually, I already have learned this boss. There's something to learn. It's just bad. Ah, Fuck. Oh, yeah. See, there's, like, almost no window. That's, like, absurd. The Super Nintendo version of this boss, they give you way more opportunity to actually hit the dude. This is, like, you get, like, half a- it's like, you get, like, two seconds to hit him. And if you don't hit him in those two seconds, then you have to wait, like, 30 seconds to hit him again. Stupid, man. Stupid. Like, there's no need to make a portable game this difficult, but apparently Rare disagreed. Now he's moving, changing phases. He's probably like randomly dropped down and hit me. No, he just dies. Oh, okay. Weird fucking game. Tin Can Valley. The world. Tropical tight ropes. I have no idea how far I am, because there's no theming. It's just all random random levels. All the land games are like this, where... They're like Neverland, where nothing makes sense. There's no theming. It's just, here's random snow area, and then here's... Here's death. I don't think I save stated, so I'm gonna just like, yeah, play that out. Okay. Go. Fuck you too. Uh, apparently I save stated. That was a mistake, but it's not a big deal. Whatever. Sometimes I still get that confused. At least Dixie's here to make this tolerable. Okay, so I got a checkpoint, so we can do safe state. Seems like this is a short level. Another one of these ones that's over in a flash. Okay, that was bullshit. Holy hell. These things are even faster than Super Nintendo. Faster than lightning, dude. 
short level, though. Clifftop Critters. They use this level asset a lot, huh? I mean, I guess I don't... I don't mind it, because it's one of my more favorite ones in the, the in the Super Nintendo version. So I guess I don't I don't mind this. Just noticing that they're using it a lot. Seems in a lot of cases with these levels, staying on the ropes is not always the best idea. Sometimes just dropping off of them is better. Because then you just otherwise you just risk getting hit by random shit. So most of the time I've called the game's bluff, and you seem to be able to get away with that. You can just avoid it entirely by just jumping. Obviously with exceptions like here where there's enemies, and you gotta be actually careful. Definitely takes some concentration. Something I've unfortunately not had a whole lot of, but I'm starting to get into the groove of it again. Um, except there where I randomly got hit somehow. Okay. Um, is it safe to just drop? It is. Oh, oh, thanks for that. That was probably the end of the level, and they just trolled you there at the end, because, haha, <laughs> fuck you. We're funny like that, you know? Another pretty long level for this game. I think... I've talked about this before, but if I were to articulate what I dislike about Game Boy platformers of this era... A lot of it just has to do with how they design it around the limitations in ways that are very trolly and annoying. Where they just constantly leverage the fact that you can barely see anything in front of you on your screen. You just can barely see anything at all. And that's like 90% of the gimmicks that they employ for you taking damage in the game. And, this, and these land games leverage that really heavily in ways that I'm not a big fan of. Definitely could be, could be, uh, rickety rapids. Very nice. So yeah, it's definitely the thing that I don't like is like, it's all like off screen stuff that tries to kill you all the time. And in case you're wondering why I have to use safe states for this, it's primarily because there's no cheats for this game. Like, this version of the game has no cheats. Even if I played the original US Game Boy version, that one only has two cheats for some reason, and they're not useful ones. There's no, like, infinite lives cheat or anything. Kind of strange, but some games are like that where they just don't have stuff. So I just have to rely on the save states for the, for the core of this system. Words are hard when you're trying not to die 24-7. Okay. That. So far, making decent time on this game. Definitely one of these longer levels too. So they've been they've been throwing in some longer ones here. One of these ones where you don't wanna ideally don't wanna make a mistake. Cause then you get sent back quite a, quite a ways.
Yeah, this is one where the checkpoint barrel is a meme. Or it barely is a checkpoint. First try, baby. That was a little harder than it seemed, by the way. Uh, okay, so I guess this is it. Bazooka Bombard. That's our next level. I wonder how much is left. How much game do we got? Like I said, it wouldn't surprise me if this is the longest land title, because it's the latest of them. This is a late GBA- or late Game Boy game, rather. Yeah, I'll probably do the- because I'm very curious about it and more interested in that entry. I'll probably do the Game Boy Color version of DKC after I do this. That should also be pretty short unless there's some major surprises in terms of mechanics or gameplay differences. So if it's like super different, it might take me longer to get through that one. But it's still, I, I, you know, I would assume at its core, it's still the same game. And I, it's the same game I've played a 5 million quadrillion amount of times. So I can probably blaze through it anyway, but we'll see. Wouldn't surprise me if I if I could get through both games in one stream. How'd that not hit me? I mean, I'm not complaining, just that's interesting. Oh, thanks for that. Well, we got this barrel here at least. Jesus, is that like possible to avoid? Jeez, I like I tried to jump and nothing was happening. God damn. Oh, thanks, instant death pit. Very good. This level's fucking making me mad. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I there's a there's a death pit there too. I somehow didn't get hit by it. Alright. I'm sure that some of these later levels are gonna be a real pain in the butt. See, the jumping's working that time, but it sure as hell wasn't before. Jesus. Uh, okay, well, I counted, I guess. If she knows. I think we're near the end, then. Got the G letter. Real G of a letter. Alright, thank goodness that one's over. Frankly, save cave. Or I'll save. Ugly ducting. Why is autosave off again? I fucking hate this core. Why does it keep doing that? Just keep autosave on, you stupid bitch. I've only told you a million times. There must be some setting or something I'm missing. Because that's kind of important to have that on, otherwise your progress doesn't get saved. Alright, so we got- I- I knew this day would come where we get underwater duck level. I wonder if they're gonna do the reverse controls on this one, too. Wouldn't that be a hoot and a holler? It would be so amusing, it would be so fun. I hope they do it, I can't wait. For one of the levels to just have reverse controls or some other wretched, awful gimmick. Oh. Checkpoint barrel already. Either this is a shockingly short level, or they're memeing me, and this is like one fourth of the level. We'll find out. All right, we got ourselves the parrot again. Yeah, got ourselves squawks. Barrel bonus coins. Shit, words are hard today. Bonus barrel is what I meant to say. Imagine how much more agony this would be if you tried 100% it. I bet there's some weirdos who do 100% speedruns of these games. I mean, I'm sure there are. There's always somebody who does everything as a speedrun. Maybe not actively, but 
there's always somebody who's doing it. You know, I say calling them the weirdos when I'm playing this. Very nice. That was a decently short level. Stalagmite Frights. Oh boy. So now we're back to these levels. Mm, these ones were that use this this like design in the third game were always like the hardest levels of the game. So wouldn't surprise me if there's some some mean stuff up ahead. Okay, so we got the ghost gimmick again. So these barrels are back. I wonder if they're gonna work the, the same way. Where they troll you. Or if they're just here to just be here. We got Squitter, okay. Yeah, okay, that's still the same with the platform, yeah. I'm just kind of taking it slow here, spamming the webs. It's a pretty good policy, because it avoids a lot of nonsense. Oh, we just got another, another barrel for Squitter here. Just in case you didn't get it last time, somehow. Yes. Maybe you lose it if you go into a bonus. Maybe that's why it's there. Could be it. Also thinking I might play some indie games or something pretty soon. Cause there's still a lot, of, like an infinite amount of those for me to play on stream. And some of them are very cool and interesting and, you know, good. Like Hat in Time, for example. Hat in Time is a very, very well liked indie 3D platformer. I've had it for a long time and I've not played it. I hear it's really, really, really good. And that would be, that would be a fun one to stream. Okay, so they do troll you. Alright, so this is for the sake of my sanity. I'm gonna do safe state here. It probably won't be necessary. But I'm doing it just in case. Because... This is a very artificially long level from the looks of it, if you make any mistakes with these barrels. Yeah, that was a random thing to just include. Yeah, this is why we're doing this. This level's too fucking long, I'm sorry. Oh god. This is one of these ungodly long levels. And it's full of trolls. This is on the harder side, for sure. Alright, so we got like a random bomber dickhead coming up. Just the first intro- you just randomly see one with no warning. Yeah, very nice. That's insanely mean to have at the end of your level. That is, um... Wow, that is just fucked up. K rule duel, so this is the end, huh? Alright, let's do it. All right, in a pipe though. What? This is a weird place to fight K. Rule. Sure, I guess. So is this fight gonna be ungodly hard, or is it gonna be like somewhat reasonable? Would we think? I think that damaged him. Okay, so we don't have to get to the back of him then. All right, that seems reasonable. All right, so now he's doing that. I figured as much. It's gonna join the other side now too, right? Yep. Pretty standard. Is he gonna... He's just gonna stay still for us, alright. He's gonna do that. Do a little jig. What's next? No platforms in this one, huh? Okay, that's a little mean. Oh. So far, other than being a long fight because Rare loves their stupidly long boss fights, 
Um, this boss seems reasonable. Like, this boss seems okay. Not nearly as dumb as the Squitter one. Maybe the hitboxes on these electrical things could be a little better, but... You know, it's this okay. Oh, I missed. Because Dixie can't throw for shit. I forgot. So now we have to wait again. Um, yeah, Dixie can't throw. She's actually terrible fighting K. Rule. Just comically terrible at it. Jeez. You definitely don't want to have her for the boss fight, if you can help it. Uh, it's like almost impossible. Can I like just run up to the barrel and hit him with it? Can I do that? Like, do I actually have to throw it at him? Can I just like pick it up and like jump at him with it? Let's see. Nope. And you just lose Dixie immediately. Um, barrel. There you go. Whoa, careful. What are you doing? You think want to pick a side or what? There we go. Yeah, that, that bit's harder. Maybe there's like some parts where Dixie excels, some parts she doesn't. Could be kind of, some are better at certain parts than others, but Dixie really can't hit him, and that's a big problem. Okay. Are you done bouncing? Ugh. I wish I would stop being itchy. That's annoying. Ow! I got hit! Fucking hell. What? Oh. Okay. So I have a bone to pick with this boss, and I knew it was gonna come up because it's been a problem with every boss in the game. His hitbox sucks. He really shouldn't have hit me there, but he did. He hit me twice there. Uh, apparently that counted as a hit, but he still hit me anyway. So there's like stupid shit like that that happens that I'm not a big fan of. So there's definitely stupid, stupid design decisions at play here, but... Man. I'm just glad that I'm almost done. Uh, barrel? Oh. See, I got hit there too. That doesn't make any sense. How did I get hit there? When I used it on him. So there's like, there's some tomfoolery going on here. Like, this isn't nearly as bad as the, the Squitter one, but it's pretty bad. Just, I think the main thing with this game, and not just this game, like, seriously, again, it happened. Every Rare game. I love Rare, but there's one thing that I don't love about them, and it's consistent with almost every game that they make. And it's that the boss fights are too damn long. Like, they take 500 years to beat. And I've never been a big fan of the overly lengthy, bloated boss battles. It's not really particularly fun. Like, even in the Super Nintendo... Like, Donkey Kong Country games, I didn't like it. I don't like it there, and I don't like it here. The difference with the Super Nintendo ones is I've grinded them out so much... That, oh, that get him? Okay, good. I've grinded them out so much that it doesn't really matter for those, because... I know exactly what to do with everything, like, to an exact precision. So it's not really a big deal with that. Ugh! Again, it got me with that stupid-ass roll. We're doing another phase of this. Yeah. Alright. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, I, I could do this. It's not the worst thing. It's just not consistent. 
I just don't have the patience because I just want to get through the game. Like, I know that this game's not a popular watch to begin with, so... I know that people aren't super into watching this one, so that's, like, another reason why I'm pretty okay with just cheating my way through. Like, I'm mostly just doing this partially for myself, just to see... And to say I, I kind of beat these games, you know? Because I've never played the land games, and it's always something I've wanted to do. So I'm getting it out of the way. Um... Okay, okay, that hit him, alright. Alright, let's, uh... Doing this... Oh, it's done. Oh, that's funny. A save state and it's done. The Lost World. Okay, so that's uh, that's a very weird way to end your game. It's like, you beat him, and then you go to the Lost World, and it cuts to credits. So, like, I guess you just unlock the Lost World? You unlock the Lost World on its... Like, like after you beat K. Rule. Weird. But I guess it kind of makes sense because you can't interact with the world map like you can in the Super Nintendo one. I mean, I'm just glad to be done the game. Didn't take too long with the save state abuse. I would say it's not nearly as hard as the second game. Donkey Kong Land 2 was fucking insanity at times. Um, and then, of course, Donkey Kong Land 1 was even worse. Donkey Kong Land 1 was unfathomably difficult. This was actually the easiest of the three of the, uh, the Land trilogy. Yeah, that was... I think I've pretty much, like, said everything during the stream, what I want to say on this game. It's... It's the same kind of sort of opinion I had for the rest of the Land games. We, we, you know, it's, it's the Game Boy equivalent of the games on the Super Nintendo. And because they're on the Game Boy, they're extremely limited by their hardware. And as such, there's a lot of concessions that needed to be made in designing them. Where you have to do a lot of weird stuff to make it work. And that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what you see here. So they do their best, they do what they can, but ultimately... It just ends up being kind of mid. And the thing to keep in mind is because it was on the Game Boy, it means it was portable. So it was the closest you could get for many, many years to a portable version of the Donkey Kong Country games. So it had value based off of that. You know, there aren't many... And, you know, it got close at times, I think. It got close at times to emulating the feel of the Super Nintendo games. But it didn't quite hit the landing for me. And, like, one of the big problems for it, you know, is the sprite limitations being the biggest, yeah. It's not just about the 8-bit stuff. It's it's about the sprite limitations. They were a severe problem. So, you know. Zoomed-in screens. Off-screen... Off-screen trolling and gimmicks. Limited viewpoint for bosses. Some weird scrolling. A lot of nonsense that went on. A lot of, a lot of, s just, you couldn't have much going on in screen. You couldn't have both Kongs on screen at once. Just a lot of things that went on. And then also just control limitations too. This was the weirdest version of Bleak that I've ever seen. I honestly didn't expect them to even bother with Bleak. I thought that Bleak wouldn't work, and I'm gonna be honest, Bleak really didn't work. The... I'm actually more surprised they didn't try to do the other one. I can't remember the boss's name, but they didn't include him. The, the guy who shoots the water. I thought that he would have worked out pretty well for, um, for Super... For, like, uh, for, like, Game Boy, rather. But I guess they, I guess they didn't want to bother. But yeah, it's, uh... I never even bothered looking at the bears. I probably should have, but that's what they look like. I never bothered with the shop mechanic. Because I knew it was 100% BS and I didn't really care to look. But I should have at least visited the shop. I'm sure I could still do that if I want. 
On Guard was insanely fast in this version. And Squitter is, like, awful in this just because if you need to make the web platforms, it's excruciating. I think this game, at least for completion purposes, did require it. Probably some bonuses did, but, you know, we didn't go for those, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a video game that exists, man. It exists. Is it good? Not really, but it was good for the time, I think, probably for Game Boy. Just have a portable game. I think the only thing that would be really bad about it is how excruciatingly unfair it is in, in spots, and how they deliberately try to bleed you of your lives so that you can't make progress and have to redo a bunch of levels. And doing that on a portable system is a questionable decision. So I definitely, I definitely can feel, I can feel that being an issue. So they're probably teasing the end because they probably have a harder version of the fight for Lost World. Think you can get into the Lost World with that many DK coins? Ha, think again, numbskull. So they just have that as, okay, that's cute. Yeah, so they want you to do 100% in order to access, I guess, the rest of the levels. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to cheat that. So it would force me to do all that, and I don't give a shit. As far as I'm concerned, I've beaten Donkey Kong Land 3. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the game.